Hi everybody! This is Logan with Golden Thread Tarot and today is going to be a monthly reading for the sign of Sagittarius. I hope you can hear me okay. As usual, we light the Palo Santo to cleanse the space. So it's just us and the message. If you're still in September, welcome to the future. If you are in October, welcome to the present. It's a nice weekend day. I'm out on the rail trail with my dog, so I figured I would do a reading out here in nature. We cleanse the space for Sag. Okay, let's begin. All right, so when I first opened the deck, when I first like halved it, right, the joy card came out and here we are again. We have joy. All right, it's gonna be a good month for you guys. I can't wait to see what happens here, but this is like, we all know what joy is, right? So if you haven't been feeling a lot of joy or you've been maybe feeling off lately, this month is sure to bring in very good energy. Communication, all right, Archangel Gabriel. Um, and by the way, joy is uh, Ramela, Ramela. And so we have Archangel Gabriel coming in with communication. So it's gonna be a month for talking, okay? Clarity at the bottom of the deck. Unfurling Goddess is gonna go last as usual. Oh my God, it's so nice out right now. It's so perfect. All right. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. These are all the same cards that came up in the Pisces reading yesterday okay so you could have um a pisces in your life right now okay like literally every single one of these cards came out from the pisces reading okay so we have the five of swords upright okay which has to do with you know feeling like like some like backstabby energy conflict right a little bit of deceit in there too okay so there could be a little bit of that energy going on here you have the five of wands. All right. Now on the harsher side of this, this can be as far as betrayal. Okay. But on the not harsher side of this, this can be the end of some sort of conflict between you and other people. All right. We have the judgment card. Okay. So there potentially could have been some things about yourself that were kind of causing you to go into a little bit of judgment all right you might just be judging yourself a little bit harsher this month especially after um this situation that happened with these other people okay because the five of swords is definitely like sitting there with your thoughts maybe not feeling so good about some of your actions that you've done lately and then the five of wands is the end of conflict or furthering that conflict i am picking up here though that this is the end of that conflict okay but you do have the judgment in reverse, which means that there's something about yourself that you're not necessarily looking at. And the nine of swords in reverse here talks about you not letting yourself fall into those patterns of self-deprecation, sleepless nights, okay? 
So this is you really coming out of um, whatever negative thinking that you've been kind of in lately, all right? Now, I think you really are working hard on taking the steps forward to overcome whatever devilish tendencies that you have, okay? Now, when we go to the devil card in tarot, um, this talks about indulgent habits, okay? Um, sexual habits that we're not proud of, um, overeating, um, undereating for that matter. Um, this talks about mm, maybe going as far as gossiping or not exercising. These are really the areas consuming, you know, television that you shouldn't be watching um, things that just aren't good for you, okay? Things that aren't good for you that you know you should be stopping, all right? Now you have the nine of pent um, the Knight of Pentacles who's going towards this devil, all right? This Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night energy, okay? And this really talks about um, you knowing what you have to do to, to overcome this devil energy and you're kind of sitting in it, you already have a plan, maybe you have your exercise program already, you know, rationed out, or you bought the journal because you want to start journaling, or you have um, made it up in your mind that you're probably gonna, you know, let go of this partnership. Okay, there's a couple ways that this could go because it is a general reading, um, but you are taking the appropriate action this month to overcome whatever devilish energy has been in your life, okay? Or in your own mind. All right. What else do we have for Saggy? Saggy. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune, upright, okay. This is good luck, this is abundance, this is things working out in your favor, okay? This is good stuff. So once you're able to um, eliminate what has been causing you this, you know, yeah, some habits that you're not proud of, things that you're doing that you're not, you know, feeling great about, this is when the Wheel of Fortune comes in and really starts to turn things in our favor, okay? You do have the three of swords at the bottom of the deck, okay, with the four of pentacles. I is, I, I is, I, I am picking up on, yeah, here we go. Okay, so I think there is, um, you know, you're holding on to a relationship even though it does cause you pain, okay, because you really are wanting to find you really are wanting to be with someone and have a family, okay? Three of Swords, Four of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, which is my moving on card, all right? That's you've looked at the situation, you've waited for things to progress, they're not progressing, and it's a redirection card in my mind. It's the card of separation, moving on, all right? Nine of Cups upright, 10 of pentacles and then you go to the nine of pentacles in reverse with the justice all right with the king of swords so um you guys are really um want you're holding on to this relationship okay even though it does cause you pain all right now i am getting the lovers here so this is about a relationship okay um whether this is a current relationship that you're in or someone that you were with you're holding on to a relationship even though it causes you pain okay you want marriage, all right? The Hierophant, the Lovers, the Seven of Pentacles, okay? You really do want love and you want marriage, but you are drastically rethinking your relationship with the Seven of Pentacles over here in reverse, all right? All right. Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Justice, King of Swords, Knight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Empress, Three of Cups, Queen of Wands, Five of Wands, Four of Swords. Okay, yeah. So definitely, um, I'm not picking up that this is a breakup situation, okay? I mean, the Seven of Pentacles does mean redirection, but I think at this point in your life, you're really just starting to think about the fact that this person might not be the one for you, all right? 
you're realizing that this person does bring upon pain for you in your life, okay? And that it's probably time to move on, but you definitely have not decided to move on from this person yet, okay? You're still in a relationship with them. Five of Pentacles, as I open the deck with the Nine of Cups, you do hope that this situation could bring you fulfillment, but all it brings you right now is a sense of honestly emptiness and loneliness, okay? Four of Wands upright. But you do want to be married. You do want to be married. And you're willing to put in the work because you're strong with this relationship. And your partner is gorgeous, all right? So it could be, you know, it could be that there. But Ten of Cups in reverse, right? This is, you can kind of feel in your heart that this is not the one for you. Eight of Wands in reverse, the devil, all right? The devil came up a couple times here. You're holding on. You're holding on to this person. All right. Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands, the Magician, Nine of Cups. Yeah, that Nine of Cups keeps keeps poking its head out here. Okay. So, yeah, you're really in a place right now where you feel really confident. Okay, you feel really confident, but for some reason, when it comes to this person that you're with, okay, they potentially could even have a lot of jealousy, okay? They are beautiful, but then that makes them feel a little bit jealous if they're not the most beautiful person in the room, or if you're talking to other women potentially, okay? You know, gender goes whichever way it goes, right? Um, so yeah, there's definitely like an energy of you feel really confident in yourself and you know what you want in your life right now. Um, and I think you are starting to come around to the fact that you might want to be leaving this queen of wands because she might be beautiful, he or she, right? Might be really attractive, but you're just not feeling like they're the match for you, okay? The magician in reverse. Yeah, you're just not manifesting the things that you want to be manifesting with this person. I think there's a certain way that you wish your life was going, you know, had looked at this point where you are, okay? Maybe you've been together for a little while. You thought that your relationship would be at a different stage at this time. There would be, be more trust. There would be more um, good energy I'm picking up, uh, more of a foundation here, more of like a, like a partnership. But I feel like you guys kind of feel like two separate souls, um, existing in the same space. Okay. All right. Tell me more about this person. The, the magician in reverse again, as we open in a king of swords and the world. Tell me more about this person that Sagittarius is with. Tell me more about this person. That's, um, Sagittarius is with Queen of Cups Page of Swords The Hierophant Four of Swords Now with this Queen of Cups there's someone who's really emotionally intelligent okay they're smart they're they're they understand themselves, they're self-aware, they are there for you when you need them, they're nurturing, okay, they're communicative, but really the most important thing is that there's someone who um, really does have the emotional availability that you're looking for, you know? But something about the connection here just makes you feel insecure with this page of swords in reverse okay you don't feel super confident in the connection all right and you are really trying to figure out if they're the one that you're going to marry hierophant upright okay okay 
What does this person think about Sagittarius? The world in reverse. The magician in reverse again. Queen of Cups. <laughs> there you are. The hanged man. Two of Swords in reverse. What does this person think about Sagittarius? Ace of Pentacles. Judgment. Queen of Swords. I think they definitely see potential here, okay? With this Ace of Pentacles upright. They think there is something here, you know? They do believe that, that this does have potential, okay? And there is an opportunity here, okay? Although there is a judgment here, okay? Judgment in reverse. There is something about this connection, relationship, that does make them question it, okay? There is something that does make them question it. Now, you do have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords here, okay? Now, they're also really strong. I think you have a very strong partner here, okay? Very strong partner, um, communicative, okay? Um, intelligent, all right? they are in control of their life okay and they're in a they're in control in a good way they're not overbearing they're not overly controlling okay this is someone who knows themselves very well you have a partner who's very self-aware and you're also extremely self-aware too you have the king of swords here okay you have the king of swords and the queen of swords so this, this, this is very well someone that you could work things out with, okay? If you guys can communicate. If you guys can communicate. Um, but I think to be honest, you're both... Having a hard time... There's something that you guys are both having a tough time letting go of, okay? With this Four of Pentacles in reverse, you are not able to let go, okay? And that further confirms this by this forward motion, fast-paced energy moving towards the Death card in reverse, with the six of wands in reverse, okay? So this has to do with you guys not wanting to rush towards any kind of decision because you don't know if you want it to end or not, okay? But you do want to get out of this stagnant energy. You do, the death card in reverse talks about stagnation, okay? And holding on to something that, that isn't, there anymore right and then you have the six of wands in reverse okay this talks about not having success in your endeavors so i think you guys really need to sit down sometime this month and talk about where you're at as a couple okay because you're both i think not communicating right now um, in a way that's really going to be beneficial and like having a sit down conversation. Four of Swords, yeah, like almost taking a pause. Wheel of Fortune upright. Taking a pause to assess where you guys are at, 
You have the high priestess, right? Using your intuition here, okay? Tell me more about this situation for Sagittarius. Weighing out your options. Yeah, that Four of Pentacles in reverse again with the Fool. Nine of Cups in reverse. Eight of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Yeah. There's something that you guys have not... You are just not able to let go of something right now. And take that as it resonates. It's going to be different for everybody. But I think you're both terrified of all of the hard work, eight of pentacles upright, okay? All of the hard work that you guys have put into this relationship, you're just, you're worried that if you stay, it won't work out, but you're also worried that if you take this leap of faith, into a new venture, fool in reverse with the nine of cups in reverse you're not going to get everything you wanted so it's kind of like mm, i'll stay this is probably going to be pretty good this is probably someone that i can marry because if i leave this and i don't find something better i'm i i'm going to lose out on my, my potential wish fulfillment okay nine of cups in reverse and i did see the two of, of swords in reverse which is um like I have, there's no choice. I have no choice. You're kind of like stuck. You're stuck. Okay. You had options before about what you could potentially do, but now you just like, you don't, there's no, I don't know what to do. I'm, there's, I have no choice, right? I'm kind of like stuck exactly where I am. If they stay, how is this relationship going to go? So you have the three of cups in reverse with the nine of wands in reverse with the two of cups in reverse. Okay. So, I mean, I'm going to be completely honest. This is like you guys looking at other options, exhaustion. Okay. Um, this is like isolation energy okay three of cups in reverse is like not having fun it's like that energy is kind of like dying off a little bit and with this nine of wands in reverse this is like fatigue exhaustion and then you have the two of cups in reverse which is just there's no more love here right so I think you're, and that like feels, that's like sitting in my body right now. Like I'm feeling that as like the message that the fact that you're already here and thinking about this this much, both of you, it's probably a good indicator that this might not be the one for you. And I'll tell you, you know, as someone who's, who's left several partners because they weren't the one, if you really have trust in God and you believe in God, then, and then I won't know what your religious background is, but if you really believe in God, then you'd rather be alone with God than away from God with somebody, right? And God is just, for me, spirit and the universe and the plants and the trees and the force that, that is in me that will stay with me after I die. And now that force has led me throughout my life. And it's very scary because it can lead you to places that you didn't expect to go, but at the same time, it allows you to have this sense of protection and comfort that the high priestess came through again when I was shuffling. 
that you're trusting your intuition, all right? Now, I think both of you guys have an intuition about this partnership and that it's likely not the right one for you, okay? What's the advice here? A little bit more advice for Sag? Yeah, 10 of wands in reverse. This is like total defeat. This is like defeat energy. Seven of pentacles in reverse. Again, rethinking this. Rethinking this two of cups. Rethinking this love. You don't want to give up all the friends that you have. It's scary to make a new choice. It's scary to have a new beginning. The star is fortune after difficulty. Justice. And the Seven of Wands and the Three of Cups. I feel like you're having to do a lot of defending yourself right now, okay? I feel like there's a huge part of you that still wants to defend this relationship. Or there are parts of you that just feel like you have to defend yourself all the time in this connection, okay? And, um, you know... I do have the, the card here. Um, you have the two of swords in reverse again with the four of cups with the magician then reverse again. Page of cups. I'm going to be honest. I really think. And again, honestly, this three of cups keeps coming out and it's not for everyone, but there could be like other energies kind of coming in here okay maybe your friends are talking about how you guys are in a relationship right now and that you know they're wondering how you guys are doing because th things seem a little bit off like hey how you guys doing like you guys thinking about marriage or you know what are you guys because maybe your friends are starting to get married and have connections so so you know they're kind of wondering where you guys are at you know um and this four of cups here all right can be a little bit of apathy this can be like mm, here's my life right here are my three cups that i have in front of me all right here's my job here's my house here's my car here's my friends um here's my partner currently okay hobbies passions but there's that fourth cup floating above his head that's being handed to him and this is the life that you want to be living so right now you're really not living the life that feels true to you but you feel like you have no choice you're stuck two of swords in reverse this came out a couple times two of swords in reverse is just stuck you feel stuck and you just are you, you're like trying to defend this life that you've been building for yourself to make it seem like there is actually something here okay and you don't want to lose everything that you've built out on but justice in reverse like the the, the outcome might not be what you want it to be okay this might not give you everything that you've wanted all right sorry i wasn't expecting the whole reading to be about this relationship but this is definitely something that's on your mind a lot okay and on your partner's mind a lot but yeah i don't think you guys are talking about it a lot but the star is fortune after difficulty okay this is hope this is not losing faith okay this is not losing faith I really think that you and your partner need to talk about a lot of things and really put into perspective where the relationship is right now and where the relationship is going to be going, okay? All right, we have two cards. Freshness, deja vu, defy the past, define the future. You are only one thing, love. Unity, crown chakra, sahasrara. Unfurl with intense beauty, rare, fresh, exquisite, and vulnerable playfulness, not to be taken for granted without asking with force. Give forth only through self-authority and in agreement with one's personal timing, body strategy, and unique human design. The intensity and vulnerability of being rare is to be a natural human. There's no right or wrong way to be alive and free within yourself. 
one's personal grace unfurls naturally upon one's unique path. I ask spirit, what is my part? I listen and live in response, trusting that I belong unified with who I truly am. So that's what we talked about earlier. Remember, like really just being in touch with who you are. All right. Fullness and emptiness. Remember, I'd rather be alone with God than not have God and be surrounded by everything. Inhale. Exhale. The card says to do that. So here we go. Sacral chakra. Chakra. Sparistana. Tenderness. Mother Earth loves you and holds your soulful dreams so very gently. Go to her with offerings, your gratitude and blessings. Lay down and bow to the immense love that she is. As you birth your true self, stay close to her day and night. Mother Earth is a wise and loving doula. Let go of who you thought you were. There is fullness in emptiness that will birth the genius of simplicity. Okay, I think you guys need to sit and talk about where this is going. And if you guys have been thinking that it might not be going somewhere for a while, then even just take some space to see how it goes, right? Okay. All right, Sag, I hope this helps. I'm wishing you a very good October and I'll see you in November. Okay, bye.